look, if you got an older car and it's and you and the light keeps coming out, we'll say invest in a OBD2 connector or what we call a scanner, and you can watch a video on YouTube on how to proceed with this. Not by me. I'm too damn lazy. I'm just kidding. But look, at the end of the day, um, it's not hard to do. Put the scanner on. If you don't have a scanner, you don't want to buy a scanner, I would say go to Pet Boys or to your automotive person and have them put a scanner on it uh, and see what's going on with it before you try to go to emissions. I mean, to yeah, go before you go to emissions. And a lot of them will give it, they'll put it on for free and tell you what's happening. But also, too, don't let them upsell you because a lot of times it might be an oxygen sensor. It might be um, you get too much fuel. It might be an eval. A lot of stuff that you can pass without actually getting the work done. And um, and it's not going to hurt your car. Sometimes if your car is just calibrated just the slightest, um, you know, it, it, now it's at 98% of something, it'll fail. So, look, invest in an OBT, OBD2 connector or a scanner like this, 35 to 50 bucks. Um, I'm gonna give you a couple things. Look, when you, look, this scanner will basically tell you how to do it. So so sometimes, let's say you have a check engine light on. Maybe it came on, you put too much gas in it, or you, um, you know, you open the door or the, the uh, gas fuel cap is not tight, whatever the case may be. You have to clear your code.